Hello and welcome to another edition of Tales from the VHS Vault. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Sir Alexander Saxton's Missing Link. <laughs> it's a fossil! It's a fossil! Today we're going to be talking about a movie that I think every kid born in the 80s and grew up in the 80s and the 90s loved and played and collected <laughs> memorabilia from, and that is Ghostbusters. Yeah. This movie, yeah, it goes way back to when we were kids. It was one of the first movies that we kind of bonded over. We used to play this all the time. Like, yeah. I remember... It used to be at the top of the list of things to play. Like, oh, what do you want to do today? Play yeah, ghost. Yeah, list. grab your proton pack and yeah. like the firehouse or yeah. whatever, and you had the trap and everything. Yeah. And fuck, it was great. Yeah, I remember that we, when I got my first proton pack, my mama bought it for me. She hid it for me in my bunk bed. Came home, I think, from my dad's on the weekend on a Sunday yeah. and they'll climb up to my bunk bed it was all hard and lift up the, the sheets and you know there's the box there with the proton bag mm -hmm. and I like yeah yeah right. lift that open it up strapped it on run outside and then you're like there too and you had your <laughs> room which you just got too so we like both got them on the same weekend like, yeah 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 it was, well you can't have one without the yeah, other right? especially when you live next door it's like <laughs> the other's got to have it too or else right. you feel left out yeah yeah one thing i remember getting too is the firehouse which you also had but there's pictures of me with it like with the pack on and yep. everything and holding the Ecto-1 and... <laughs> <laughs> I do remember the first time I ever watched the movie. Okay. Uh, because the cartoon was on first, of course, and that's what you're familiar with. Being so excited, right, and pomping it in. And being like, what? This... These don't look like the same guys? And I was like, who's who? I couldn't tell who is who because... They don't look it's, the same, yeah, it's right? different, totally different. It's different. This is fucking weird. And then when you finally start piece, okay, that's Egon. You can tell that's Egon with the glasses. Okay, that's Ray. That's Peter. Oh, Winston's in here. That's an uh -huh. ensemble. Then you just get fucking sucked in. And, like, you don't care that it's different than the cartoon. It's just fucking great. And that's all you care about, right? That's right. It's along the same lines as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? I was right? going to say the same thing. Yeah. Which will be its own episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exact same thing. It's yeah. different, but you don't care because it's that fucking good. Exactly. It's yeah. fucking real. I got my first handheld video camera camcorder. <laughs> We'd make Ghostbusters movies in the basement. Right, yeah, reenacting the yeah. movie and then doing our own thing. Our own spin, kind of a spoof on it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you were Ray, but you were super fat <laughs> with all that, like a huge, like a whole cushion from like a couch. <laughs> yeah. Nothing really made any no. sense. <laughs> you watch it now, it's like, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell were we thinking? <laughs> well, typical kids, they don't plan anything out. You just hit record and see what happens, yeah. right? Surprisingly, I didn't have Ghostbusters on VHS, even though it was like my favorite movie of all time. You had it. Right. And I remember you had the copy, but it didn't have the cover. It was just the tape itself. Yeah, I, right? I don't know what happened. I don't even know what happened to the damn movie. That was in my possession for so many years. Like, <laughs> you like, took it. Like you lent it to me or whatever. I just never gave it back ever. I finally gave it back to you. But I remember that tape you had had, again, like we talked about in Three Amigos, the trailers. They weren't in the beginning of the movie, though. They were after the credits, huh. which I always thought was weird. Because who's going to sit around? The only reason I knew that they were there is because they just watching the movie and just left it on and didn't hit stop and yeah. walked away. Like, what? Something else is... What's happening? And I go look and there was a trailer for, like, Passage to India. A Passage to India. Karate Kid. <laughs> This is the end of the line. I think Starman. John Carpenter's Starman. <laughs> but I remember that was the first time I heard about some of those movies. The guy with the deep voice. <laughs> now, the new hit movie of the yeah. season. I'm trying to track down a, a, another copy of that exact version for myself was a pain in the ass. And I only... <laughs> found one last year. I remember like whenever I'd find Ghostbusters you somewhere yeah. and I'd pick it up. Got a whole bunch here. <laughs> and I'd pick it up and I wouldn't even watch the movie. I'd stick it in fast forward to the end and see if those trailers were there. Mm -hmm. And like there's I got a couple of versions where they're they're not there at all. Or there's a different set of trailers. Okay. That's kind of cool. But I finally found one that has that set of trailers at the end and it's, it guess it depends on what year the um, the tape was manufactured. Mm -hmm. When so when was the one? I think the one is eighty, like the actual eighty four version. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So that's the one you want with the with the kind of embossed. 
And yeah, it's a movie that it just can never be duplicated too. Oh like, god, it touches on so much subject matter too. Even though it's a comedy, I like how there's a lot of serious parts in it too, right? Oh, very serious. Like. Uh, scenes with serious tone. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Like when they're driving on the over the bridge there. Yeah. And, yeah. Do you believe in God, yeah. Ray? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Never met him, you know. Yeah, but yeah. it gets really serious and actually yeah. kind of a little creepy too yeah, at the is. same time. Yeah, it's definitely a lightning in a bottle type movie. You'd never be able to duplicate it. You know, they tried with that 2016 reboot, and you know, I got you know, I could talk forever about that yeah. reboot. But the, the biggest thing is, it just wasn't. The same people involved is something that happens when you get the right director with the right actors, mm -hmm. the right writers, and the amount of improvisation that happened on set, you know, is a lot of it too, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course, Bill Murray yeah. being known for doing that, right? And showing up at the last fucking minute. Yeah, I think he showed up <laughs> on the first day of shooting, like, basically showed up in a cab from the airport, got in his uniform, and was like, okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, everybody probably wasn't expecting it either. They didn't think, you know? they thought he wouldn't, wasn't going to show up that day yeah. when he first started shooting. The humor in Ghostbusters is not, you know, shoved down your throat. It's not like, ah, look at, we, we're being funny now. Right, look, sir. guys, we're funny. It's very typical of the day. It's right? very subtle and dark, dark humor, but it's yeah. very underlying. It's one of those movies you kind of have to watch, you know, five times before you start getting all the jokes and see all the little, yeah. like, nuances that are happening, you know? Yeah, because it's not, it's not entirely made for kids, right? It's actually more of an adult movie exactly. that kids can sort of latch on to, yeah. right? With the effects and with the Stay Puft Marshmallow yeah. Man and all this sort of kiddie stuff, right? Yeah. But it's more an adult's film. Yeah, I don't think it was marketed towards kids. It's just that the kids happen to really gravitate towards it, which you can see why, you know? It's yeah. like kids are scared of the dark and scared of ghosts and stuff like that. Well, Ghostbusters, well, fuck, exactly. who's, who's scared of ghosts now? I got these guys around. I can pretend <laughs> to be them and stuff like yeah, that, you know? Yeah. And all the nifty gadgets, too, yeah. right? That, of course, are marketed yeah. towards kids yeah. after. And then when the cartoon <laughs> came out, well, of course, that was meant for kids. And then re-watching it when you're older, you realize how well-written that cartoon is. It's fucking great. Yeah, and, like, the famous actors that voice the characters, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Arsenio Hall. Yeah. And, uh... Frank Welker. Yeah, yeah, you know, and... And then, of course, later, Dave Coulier and oh, stuff. Like, when they all fire stuff. Lorenzo music <laughs> and get Dave Coulier. That's when that's when the show takes a fucking turn for the worse, that right. Dave Coulier bullshit. <laughs> Arsenio Hall didn't quit. He left because the show was getting too big. He couldn't do double duty. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> But yeah, the show also does a very good job of staying true to the movie. Like, mm -hmm. it diverges a little bit where it needs to be to be more accessible for kids. But for the main, you can tell they really stuck to the, the rules set by the movie and the characters yeah. and everything. They did a great job. Yeah, and I actually find the cartoon is actually a lot more times scarier, creepier than the movie. Yeah, that's really, true. Yeah, like, some of the monsters. Yeah, there, and, and the, music. the music is really yeah. good in the cartoon. Yeah. A lot of times, even watching them now, it's like, ooh, I'm getting shivers yeah. here. It's kind of creepy. One of those movies I think every kid that grew up when we did, you know, loves and liked to play. And on the yeah. playground, you'd, lucky enough, like we did to have a play structure with a pole that you can Roll slide right down. down. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah, like, oh, let's play Ghostbusters. And then all, all these kids wanted to play. Like, no, there's only four of them, guys. <laughs> yeah. So the rest of you can fuck off. <laughs> Other neighborhood kids also had like the same yeah, toys yeah, too, yeah. right? So you'd kind of get together every so often. We went to their house, you'd see the proton pack yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like yeah. a transcending yeah. thing amongst kids, right? Yeah. So I'm sure you guys out there have a lot of stories about Ghostbusters watching the movies and the cartoons and collecting all this fucking shit that will just <laughs> go in the garbage when we die. So let us know in the comments. And until next time, keep drinking. In Boston. <laughs> Bust a liver? <laughs> <laughs> no! Liver busters? <laughs>